and we're back with pizza. Last week we made the dough, divided it up into different sizes, a smaller size for margarita pizzas, and then a bigger size for bigger grandma pizzas, the square pizzas. More of a homemade version of the pizza. This is mainly different from the margarita in the sense that it is different size. A lot of times it's more of a intense sauce. We're gonna use the same sauce. We're not gonna make any sort of special sauce for it. We're just gonna add oregano, which gives it that homey sort of taste. And the other thing that we're doing is putting the cheese on the bottom and then kind of draping the sauce over the cheese to make it look really beautiful and to sort of have the cheese protect the dough from the sauce. So let's get into it. I have my big size dough. Take a pan, some oil, and then just rub it all over. You don't have to oil it, but I feel like that's just what grandma did. Now this one, we're going to go with the cheese first. A little Parmesan. Same process as before. Cook it most of the way through the bottom rack, if not all the way. And if you need color on the top, pop it into the broiler. It's all the oregano that makes the difference for me. Olive oil gives it that nice kind of shiny crust. And this is different than a Sicilian because of how thin it is. A Sicilian kind of has a lot of dough and, and this is much thinner. So you don't need to spend, you know, $20 a pie for something that literally is made from flour and water, a little bit of cheese and some sauce. To me, you can't beat that. And there's nothing more fun to make at home than pizza. There'll be much more pizza to come, but for now, that's it. Thanks again guys for watching my pizza series. Tried really hard to make it as comprehensive as I could. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the taste on both of the pizzas were really delicious. So I do urge you to try and make them yourselves and let me know how you did. Tell me what you think of everything. I'll see you later and go feed yourself.